Bill O'Reilly is going to slam Beyonce here in an interview with Russell Simmons. I have a lot to say about this one. Let's listen. All right. Now, on other programs, uh, you have largely apologized for some no, of the, some no, of the permission so stuff. You say it reflects reality of the situation. Yeah, I kind of think that artists throughout history, poets throughout history have been uh, criticized for sharing what's on people's minds and... I don't think it's any different now. I think yeah, we've explain, for thousands of years, hundreds of years, certainly this. in this country. You're, we've, you're a pretty perceptive businessman. Explain this. Beyonce. I saw her sing the uh, Star Spangled Banner at the, at the Super Bowl in Houston. Brilliant. All right. Worth about $350 million. She puts out a new album with a video that glorifies having sex in the back of a limousine. Teenage girls look <coughs> up to Beyonce particularly girls of color. She's, a, she's an idol to them. I'm saying, why on earth would this woman do that? Why would she do it when she knows the devastation that unwanted pregnancies, which we'll deal with in a moment, not with you, but in, as a segment, and fractured families, why would Beyonce do that? I was talking, I, I wanted to talk a little bit about the left side of the brain, the right side of the brain connecting and the, and the shift in brain functionality for meditation and other things and, and getting it into schools where it might you be. You don't want to talk about Beyonce? No, but I will, I will say this. I've been, um, I think the artist's job throughout history has been to tell, to say things that people are inspired by. There, there's, a, there's a subject, uh, there's a research that says that a man thinks about sex every 12 seconds. And so when an artist expresses something that's sexual in music is a reflection of our reality. If we want that reality changed, then we have to do things that affect the core. So what I want to do, and this is another subject uh, back again, but I want to put meditation in schools. I want okay, to go right and we'll to get Chicago. to that in a moment because I agree with you on that. And I support the David Lynch Foundation, which does just that. That's right. I'm on the board. Right. And I give you a, a ton of money. Thank All right. You. So I support that. But you're dodging the question. No, no. I, 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 I believe in entertainment. Here, here. I believe in entertainment, uh, an entertainer like Beyonce and a, and a mogul like you have an obligation to protect children, not put out exploitive garbage that you know harms impressionable children. I think Beyonce, what she has done here is inexplicable. And I'm asking you, Russell Simmons, to explain it to me. I will, Bill. Number one, music, art, movies, and all that stuff have always been counterculture. Could you imagine a world where there is zero sex and zero violence in entertainment? You can't, right? Because it wouldn't really be entertainment. Every channel would be playing reruns of Leave It to Beaver. Number two, the idea that somehow entertainment is worse now than it was before is false. Bill, did you listen to any of the music in the 60s and the 70s? I mean, there were songs about LSD and mushrooms and psychedelic experiences and heroin and cocaine and free love. Everybody's fucking everybody. And what happened? Eventually, ba baby boomers put on suits and ties and went to work. Why is that? Because material support is important to success. That's the most important part. And in many ways, not in every way, but in many ways, the culture is irrelevant. And, I mean, here's another example. I don't watch Die Hard or Rambo and then suddenly get the urge to shoot people in the face. But that's, you know, the underlying premise to everything Bill O'Reilly is pushing there. And the third thing is... Bill, you're using this as a diversion to not talk about the actual issues that matter. You want successful people, you want young minority kids and young white kids to, to do well in their lives, Bill. Give them health care, okay? Give them contraception. Give them an education. Give them housing. Give them job opportunities. And then sit back and watch them flourish. But see, here's the trick. If you focus like Bill does on the culture, oh, it's the culture's fault, the culture's fault, the culture's fault, then uh, you can blame the kids and wash your hands of all the responsibility, right? Blame the entertainers, blame the movies, blame the music, and blame the kids. And this way, you uh, uh, allow yourself to not focus on what matters, the material support, the health care, the equal opportunity, the job opportunities, and the rest of that stuff.